Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a serious throwback video. I'm having major deja vu right now because I used to sit down like this and do my videos all the time. So today I'm gonna show you guys how I get ready. Um, this is just my day to day. Um, sometimes I don't even get ready, but if I'm gonna get ready, this is what I do. So I obviously have no makeup on. My lips are super dry right now. I need some chapstick or something. Like, I feel like I can't even talk because my lips are so dry. So my hair is freshly washed, blow dried, and um, I straightened it. And the reason why I straightened it is because for this hair tutorial that I'm going to show you guys, your hair needs to be pretty straight. If it's not naturally straight, um, I would just run a straightener through it anyways because you're going to be using a straightener to curl it. So I'm going to show you guys how I do my makeup. I'm going to show you guys how I curl my hair with the straightener. This was a highly requested video, um, and I haven't done one these in so long that I thought it was about time for me to sit down and do this for you guys. So mainly we're just going to sit down and we're going to chat a little bit, have a little bit of a life update discussion, and um, I'm going to do my hair and makeup at the same time. It is pouring rain outside. Actually at the moment it is not raining. I'm sitting right in front of my window. It's not raining but it is thundering and lightning and um, it looks like it's about to come down so we will see hopefully that's not like a huge distraction but this is what I keep my makeup in this is actually from the FabFitFun collection or FabFitFun box and I have my mirror right here so that's what this is right there my eyelashes need to be filled really badly the girl who did my eyelashes this last time did not the greatest job that I've had done so um, it's really hit or miss when you go to get your eyelashes done at Amazing Lash. Sometimes you find a really good girl and sometimes they're like a little bit rusty or uh, brand new. So I always start with doing my makeup first. I don't know why. I just... I just do. So I'm going to be using this L'Oreal BB Cream and I'm going to link all of this in the description box below if I can because when I hold it up to this camera it doesn't really want to focus very well. It just wants to focus on my face which I appreciate because I did a video not too long ago where the entire video was out of focus. So I'm going to be using this L'Oreal BB Cream. This is the one in the green tube. It's for redness. I've been using this for so long. This is pretty much all that I use on my face on a day-to-day -day basis. It works really well for me. I have not had any issues. Oh, and if you see this, these marks all over my hand, I think that's a bruise. But if you see these marks, this is wood stain because I've been staining wood. Um, so I'm just gonna rub this in all over my face and I have a feeling that halfway through this, I'm gonna have to change cameras because the battery is about to die. And I'm gonna attempt to talk to you guys at the same time get readies with me are always so highly requested but they're just like chaos because I feel like I'm trying to do my makeup explain what makeup I'm doing and hold a conversation all at the same time and I'm not very good at multitasking and yes I use my hands judge away and do not put a primer on before this I realize that the hard way it peels a little bit and um it just doesn't work well with the primers. Next, I will do my concealer. So I use the Tarte Shape Tape, and I will also use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer for areas that are not under my eye. So I will use this on my chin, around my nose. I have a couple of little nasty zits up here. Um, yeah, so I will dot those like that, and then I will use this one underneath my eyes. And this, this concealer is like a little bit, goes a long way. I always end up putting too much no matter what I do. I always have too much, but that's okay. I just kind of take it other places where it needs to go. So while I am patting in all my concealer, I wanted to let you guys know that I put a post on Instagram the other day and people were commenting on it. Um, it's a business endeavor that my husband and I are looking into doing. I can't say too much about it right now um, because our papers are not signed and it is not 100% um, ready to go yet. But once it is, I will definitely let you guys know what it is. So if you want to, leave it in the comments below what you think it is. I had a lot of people guess on Instagram. Um, I wasn't asking for people to guess, but now it is kind of fun to see what people think we are doing. So if you guys want to know, definitely stay tuned to my channel because I will let you guys know once it is finalized. But now I'm going to be using my butter bronzer. This is like the best bronzer that I have 
found in my 27 years. That's another thing. So this is going to be all over the place. So speaking of 27 years, I feel like lately all of a sudden I'm just old. Like nobody asks for my ID anymore anywhere and I feel offended by it. I'm really offended by the fact that nobody wants my ID. Um, my husband thinks it's funny that I'm so, but when they ask for my ID, I get so excited. Like, heck yes, ask for my ID. I remember back in the day when I used to be like, oh my gosh, they're asking me for my ID. Like, don't they know that I'm 21? And now I wish that they would still ask me. So I'm just bringing this down my neck a little bit just to help like blend it all out. And what blush am I using today? I'm gonna use my Milani um, Luminoso blush. And this is a Sigma powder blush brush number F10. Um, this is the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. I'm just gonna put this on my eyelids. Oh my gosh, my eyelashes need to be done so bad. These are the kind of videos that I started out doing. If you guys started out watching my channel when I was doing these kind of videos, I am, I just realized I am not good at this. Like, this is definitely out of my comfort zone. Oh, I guess I should tell you what I'm using. I'm using the Tardist Pro Glow. Yes, it is dirty. I don't really care. Um, this is actually a palette like for your face. It's got a bronzer and then some highlighters on it. But I'm going to be using this one in my crease and this one all over. So I just take this one and put it all over my lid. I found that I don't really love it for a highlighter and bronzer. But for eyeshadow, these are like my perfect ideal colors. So these are just what I like to use. This actually came in my FabFitFun box as well. So if you guys are not signed up for FabFitFun, you should. Because I'm using, I use a lot of stuff that they send me. It's not just like, oh look, they sent me this. Let me throw it in the trash tomorrow. Um, the boxes are actually like, they also sent me this too. This Kula sunscreen. So for what you pay for, you actually use the stuff. Which is nice because sometimes you get subscription boxes and... You don't use them so anyways this is not sponsored i'm just telling you guys i use a lot of stuff that they actually send me so i'm just putting the darker color in my crease and yes if i do my makeup i do all of these steps it really as you can see is not taking that long it just takes longer because i'm talking to you guys now i'm gonna do my eyebrows i use the nyx um, micro brow pencil i also will sometimes use the Benefit Gimme Brow. It just kind of depends. My camera is flashing at me because the battery is going to die soon. But I'm going to fill in my brows with this real quick. I have the weirdest shaped brows. I do not pluck them. They just do not grow very well over here. And so I have to fill them in as best as I can. I don't know why they don't grow right there. It is very frustrating. If you guys have found something that helps your eyebrows to grow, let me know. Um, I just don't know why that they don't grow right there. It's okay, so when my lashes are newly done, like when they're actually nice and filled, I don't have to put mascara on them, but when they start to get to the point where I need to go get them filled, I will put mascara on them. Um, it's okay to put mascara on your lashes, so I've been told, as long as it is not like oil based it has to be water based or else it will stick to oh, okay wrong end it will stick to your lashes so i'm just kind of quickly combing through them and then i will use a water based mascara when i put it on right now i'm going to do my eyeliner sometimes i'll skip eyeliner today i'm going to put it on just for the sake of this video but sometimes i will just skip eyeliner and skip eye makeup all together if my eyelashes look pretty good but i'm going to be using this maybelline uh, master precise curvy this is an eyeliner i've been using for many many years and i'm just gonna line the top of my eyes i think i need to get some more it looks like it's getting a little bit dry so this is what I use on my lashes. This is the um, Great Lash by Maybelline. So just like I thought it would, my other camera died, so now I'm on my vlogging camera. Um, but I just finished my makeup. I was already almost done with my makeup anyways. So like what I was saying is I don't like this mascara if I'm not 
using um if i'm not using it on false or fake eyelashes eyelash extensions whatever this is not a good mascara for just regular eyelashes it doesn't do much for you but if you have lash extensions i really like this so your lash extension stylist says no mascara whatsoever then don't do it mine said as long as it's water-based to go for it so that's what I'm doing. As far as lipstick goes, this is the best lipstick, you guys. I love this lipstick. I have it in another color too. I think it's called Striptease or something. This one is called Birthday Suit. It is by Too Faced. It is the Too Faced Naturals collection. And it looks like this. And I love it because it's one of those colors that you don't really have to look at a mirror to put it on. It's not gonna be like, whoa, in your face if you put too much on. It's like the perfect nude, but with a little bit of color, and nudes are just my favorite. Like, that's pretty much all I wear because it's just easy, it goes with everything. It's not too, like, in your face, so. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I curl my hair using a straightener. So my straightener is the um, GHD Platinum Straightener. I love it. It does not have a heat setting. I am totally fine with that because if I have a heat setting, I'm more likely to turn it up really high than I am to turn it down, if that makes sense. So the fact that I can't turn it up and down is great for me. And then um, it heats up super quick. So like I said, I've already straightened my hair and um, I'm going to section it off. So I usually do about three sections. I'm gonna go right above my ears right here lift this up and I'm just using a little clip that I got at Target. This is from the Wild Fable collection, which you guys, if you haven't checked out the Target's, Target's Wild Fable collection, I am seriously obsessed with that collection. I don't know what it is. It's just, I don't know. I love the throwback vibe of it all. It's like so 90s and it just reminds me of like being a little girl or maybe the 80s like not even my time yet but I love it what is going on with this it's just okay I have nothing in my hair the only thing I'm going to be using is this Kristen S um dry finishing spray and um I just picked this up at Target it works really well to help give your hair a little bit of hold and volume it's not like a hairspray it's not going to make your hair feel sticky or stiff or anything it's just going to give it a little bit of hold while giving it some volumes here is what we're going to do you're going to be curling these away from your face and I might need I haven't done this in so long and it's weird to be like looking in the camera and doing this so I'm going to put my mirror right here just so I can kind of see what I'm doing and so if I'm not looking at you guys, that's why. But I have my piece, it's about an inch thick. I'm gonna start up here, close to the root without burning my ear. I'm gonna turn it as I'm going down and then I'm gonna leave the end out, right? Just like this and let go, okay? So it made, this is what it should look like. It's like a curl slash wave with a straight end, all right? The key is to keep the ends out. If you curl all the way up, it's gonna make you look like Shirley Temple, it's gonna make your hair look shorter, and it's a little bit more of a done look. We're going for an undone look. Um, kind of messy, beachy, um, yeah, whatever you wanna call it. I'm grabbing another piece over here, holding it up here, turning, and leaving the ends out, and let go. Okay, now we've got two. I usually have about three sections on each side. So I'm gonna take this third one and ah, turn and there we go. Make sure that you're still curling away from your face. So you might have to turn your hand just a little bit. It took me a while to figure this out. Um, I, for a long time, would have one side towards my face and the other side away from my face and I was wondering why it looked not funny. It's not extremely noticeable unless you like do hair or I don't know, but you have to make sure that both sides are away from your face. That way it's equally voluminous because one side would be like all voluminous and the other side was like into my face and I couldn't figure out how to hold the iron. So just make sure that you're curling away. Okay, let me explain. So if I was to turn it this way, it would be going towards my face. If I was turning it this way, it's away from my face. So away, I'm turning it away from my face. Leave the ends out and let go okay simple once you do it a few times it gets easier i promise it might take a little bit of practice mine didn't look great the first time i did it so if you're brand new to curling with a straightener um yeah curling with a straightener was always always really intimidating for me so same 
turn, turn, keep turning and going down, leave the ends out. And the good thing about this is that if one of them comes out and it's not like as great as the other one, it's okay. It doesn't have to be so extremely uniform. Um, it's okay for it to look a little bit different than the other one or a little bit messier. So here's the last piece on this side and I'm just gonna turn and let go. I'm gonna take my spray, spray it a little bit. I'm gonna spray it all when I'm done anyways, so. Just kind of comb through with your fingers. You don't have to do much. I think that's probably good. You still want it to be really workable. Just enough to hold. Now we're gonna do the second section. So I'm gonna take right about my temples and pick it up. And make sure that I am curling away from my face. Leave the ends out. There we go. done anything to it what I'm gonna do is go ahead and spray some of this throughout the top layer and then I'm also going to lift up this much of my hair like this and spray the roots with this it helps to give it a little bit of volume um, so that it's not so flat on the top of your head and um, but it doesn't make it too stiff or anything so I'm gonna spray this through here the length and I always this is a habit this is a I don't know if it's a bad habit, but I always gather my hair like with my hands like a claw and I pick it up and I spray it like that. I don't know why I do that, but I don't know, maybe it works. Um, and then I'll pick it up like this from this side. These are just habits that after watching myself on the camera, I'm like, it, I don't even realize that I do it. But I'm picking up my hair like this and I just spray it. I suppose maybe it gives it a little bit of movement, I don't know. And then I'm just gonna run my hands through it a little bit just to kind of break up any of the um, curls that are like too much, you know? Just pick up a little area like this, spray it up in there. Um, the best way to do this is to like straighten your hair one day and then the next day curl it like this because it kind of gives you two hairstyles in one, if not, the key to doing this is making sure that your hair is straight before because your ends need to be straight. If they're not, it doesn't really come out with the same effect. Um, so yeah, 
there. So that is how I do my hair and my makeup on a daily basis. When I'm not talking, my hair does not take that long and my makeup does not take that long. In fact, my makeup is done really quickly just because I've gotten in a routine. I know what I'm going to use. I use the same thing all the time. And then my hair has really been very easy lately. I'm loving this style. I can take this like two or three days probably about three days. To extend the style, I will use one of those hair bobbles and put my hair up all the way on top of my head. That way when I wake up in the morning, it will still have that curliness to it. So this was a very highly requested video, a get ready with me. I hope it wasn't too boring for you guys, but this is my get ready with me routine that I do pretty much every day. I don't do much different. This is the makeup, this is the hair, this is what I do. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, on things that I used, um, the hair technique or anything like that, definitely let me know in the comments below and I will get back to you. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching my channel. It means the world to me and um, I just love you guys so much. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, hit the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. That way you're notified when I upload videos and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.